Hi, my name is Simon Tao, and I'm a program manager on the Windows graphics team. Today, I want to talk to you about a new graphics API that the team has been building. No, it's not DirectX 12, it's Win2D, which I promise you is just as cool, if a little bit different in focus. So what is Win2D? Win2D is a graphics drawing 2D library for Windows. This means that you can draw shapes, geometry, lines, text, images, and more sophisticated things like brushes, gradients, effects, and so on. Win2D supports the universal Windows platform, and so you can write your apps for Windows 8.1, Windows Phone 8.1, and Windows 10. You can use C++, C Sharp, and other .NET languages to write your Win2D apps. You can download Win2D as a binary from NuGet, and because we're fully open source, you can also view, fork, and compile the source code yourself on GitHub. So there are plenty of great 2D drawing libraries out there. You might be wondering, why should I care about Win2D? Well, in short, we think that Win2D gives you the best of both worlds when it comes to 2D drawing. You get the blazing fast performance and high visual fidelity of DirectX, but you also get the ease of use and intuitiveness of the .NET level APIs that you know and love. So if you're not familiar with DirectX, it is basically the foundational graphics technology layer in Windows 10. And what this means is that every single app or game that you run on Windows, Windows Phone, Xbox One, HoloLens, etc., they all use DirectX to power their graphics rendering. DirectX in games such as like Forza or Halo or Gears of War, if you've ever played those, you know that it extracts the maximum amount of performance from the GPU or graphics processing unit on your device. And it gives you smooth, perform uh, smooth animations and high quality visuals. So in Microsoft, basically every single app that you run on Windows, including Office, Edge, the PDF Reader, they all run on DirectX. And because Win2D is built as a thin layer on top of DirectX, uh, you get all of that platform goodness that we put into the technology. So I'm going to give you a couple of demos to show off some of the cool things that you can do with Win2D. So let's switch over to the Win2D example gallery. OK, and we're back. And this is the Win2D example gallery. So the example gallery is a sample application that the team wrote to showcase some of the cool and advanced capabilities of the Win2D API. You can actually download the example gallery on the Windows Store today, so you can try it out on your own Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 device. So I'm just going to show you a couple of demos today. The first one is 2D geometry. Here we have a pretty sophisticated scene. It has a car parked in a road. Um, and the interesting part is that it consists entirely of straight lines and ellipses that Win2D has filled in with solid colors. Of course, Win2D provides a much richer set of geometric primitives and the ability to manipulate and control the appearance of those primitives. But it's cool to see how you can get a pretty, you get a pretty nice look like this just by combining a very large number of very simple primitives. This is another uh, complex pattern that was drawn, once again, using entirely 2D, uh, sorry, straight lines and ellipses. And because this is vector geometry, we can arbitrarily alter the appearance of this image with zero loss in visual quality. Next up are effects. Um, this is one of the most powerful parts of the Win2D API. If you've ever used filters in Photoshop or Instagram, you know what these are. These are basically graphical transformations that you apply to an image data. So Win2D has a large set of built-in effects. They start simple, such as Gaussian blur, hue rotation, and saturation. And of course, we get a little more complex with things such as displacement map. So the real power of effects in Win2D is that you can combine multiple effects together into a chain or graph and use them to do complex processing. And because these are all using GPU acceleration, even when you're doing sophisticated graphics processing and transforms, they all run in real time and have smooth animations. So here, we're applying no less than five built-in effects in order to generate dynamically generate these flames based on the shape of the text. And you'll notice 
that this is just text. So Win2D effects can be applied to any content in Win2D, not just images. Let's go a step further and apply some effects to real-time video. So here I have a laptop in front of me that has a built-in camera, and it's just showing the, uh, showing the camera's feed live. We can go ahead and take one of the previous effects that we've seen, such as displacement map, and apply it in real time to my captured video. That's a bit of a recursive effect going on right there. We can also do things such as apply multiple effects together. So in here, we are breaking up the video into tiles, and we are then independently rotating and scaling each of them. Now, what you see here is running on a pretty beefy Alienware laptop, because of course we're on the graphics team. But for comparison's sake, here we have the exact same Universal Windows app running on a low-end Lumia 630 smartphone. So these are things that you can find online today for like $50, very, very inexpensive. And what we have is the identical source code, the identical app, the identical video processing running on both low-end and high-end hardware. All right, and the last demo I'm gonna show you is DirectX Interop. What if you're using Win2D, which as we said, focuses on 2D graphics and you want to extend its capabilities. Say I want to draw 3D uh, along with my Win2D content. Well, fortunately, Win2D has great first-class Interop with DirectX, the native API in C++. In this case, what we're showing here, we're using Win2D to render some text onto a texture. One of the things, for example, that Direct3D doesn't do too well is rich typography and text. So we've taken that render texture and then we map it onto this teapot, which is rendered purely in Direct3D. Finally, what we do is we take the rendered Direct3D teapot and we bring it back into Win2D to apply this bloom post-process effect. So what you see here is visual data being rendered in Win2D, brought to DirectX, Direct3D, and then brought back. It is equally easy either way. We've designed it in such a way that you can take your existing DirectX or Win2D code base, mix in incrementally usage of the other API, and you don't need to rip out any of your existing code. So we've just seen some pretty cool demos that you can do, um, of things that you can do in Win2D. One question you might have is whether or not that Direct3D interop works with the DirectX 12. The specific implementation that we have in the example gallery is D3D 11, but because D3D 11 interops with 12, uh, perhaps one of you people would love to write your own uh, D3D 12 and Win2D demo, and we would love to take it as part of the example gallery. Okay, so everything we saw is pretty cool, but once again, everything is built on top of DirectX. So you could actually implement all the functionality you saw in that gallery in pure DirectX. The advantage of Win2D, though, is that it is significantly easier to use than DirectX. DirectX is a low-level, highly sophisticated API, and so naturally, it can honestly be very difficult to use. Um, for example, take the burning text demo that we saw previously. We implemented that in native DirectX, and it took over 1,300 lines of C++ code to do. In Win2D, it takes just about 250 lines of C-sharp and XAML code. An even more extreme example is the real-time video processing that we just saw. If you were to use Media Foundation and DirectX and native C++ APIs, it would take you 1,900 lines of code to get there. For Win2D, just about 100. So of course I want to emphasize that lines of code is not a great metric for measuring API complexity. But it's pretty clear here that you can obtain the same kinds of effects and the same kind of performance in Win2D as DirectX with far less, uh, with using far less time and effort. So hopefully by now you've gotten a taste of what Win2D can do for your applications. We encourage you to try out the example gallery, download it from the store, run it on your devices, 
use Win2D in your Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 applications, and send us feedback. If you have questions or comments, or bug reports, feature requests, or if you have code patches that you want to submit, send them our way. They can also leave comments in the video. Yes, you can also leave comments directly in the video, and we encourage that. We really want to hear what you have to say, and we really want to know what kind of cool things you can do with Win2D. Thank you for watching, and happy coding.